Well, hello, algebra students and seekers of truth. In this video and the next several videos, we will talk about inequalities, uh, particularly linear inequalities. So our objective here is that we will be able to write and graph inequalities in one variable. And we'll also be able to write inequalities from story problems and graphs. So understand inequalities and apply them in story problems. So first, a very quick review of the terminology of these symbols here. Uh, this is the less than symbol. This is less than or equal to. This is the greater than symbol. And this last one is the greater than or equal to. All right. And in mathematics, when we are talking about inequalities, it means we're using one of these four symbols. If we've done a lot of equations in the, in the previous unit, and equations are using the equal sign. Inequalities are using one of these four symbols. All right, so now let's talk about just a, a graphical approach to inequalities before we, we try to solve any of them. And in the following, we have four examples here. Um, first, we have x is greater than 4. So in all of these examples, x is just a placeholder for any number. So that we, you can read it as any number greater than 4. So to graph it, and this is again in one variable, so we're going to use a number line, right? And... Um, this point here that we're using is 4. So I'm just going to put 4 on the number line. And then I'll change colors here so that it's a little bit easier to see. Greater than 4 means that all the numbers that are to the right of 4. So let me take another shot at this. All the numbers that are to the right of 4. So from 4 and going to the right. Right, now the question is, what about at 4? Does it, does it, are we allowed to touch 4? And because we're using the greater than, which is another way of saying strictly greater than, um, we put a circle here because no, you're not allowed to touch 4. 4 is not part of what the statement is trying to describe. It's trying to describe all the numbers that are bigger than or equal to 4. All right. Now, we can certainly have a case where the line is going to touch that number. So in the second problem here, we have x is less than or equal to negative 2. So I'll draw the number line, and I'll put negative 2 on there. And this time, it's all the numbers that are negative 2 and to the left of that. And we put in a filled-in dot, a filled-in circle, because of this equal sign. And so this green line here represents all of the numbers that are part of this solution set. Uh, they're all the numbers that are less than negative 2 or equal to negative 2. So, so negative 2 and all the numbers that are less than that. Um, I'm going to leave numbers 3 and 4 for you to do as an exercise. And let's talk about open and closed circle. Okay, so uh, when we use an open circle when graphing inequalities when um, the inequality... Uh, does not have or equal to. Okay. So another way of saying this is we call it a strict inequality. Strict means that it cannot touch those points. Okay, so in this case, x is greater than 4, we don't leave it as an open circle. X is less than or equal to, it's the or equal to here that lets us fill in the, the, the dot. So we use a, a closed circle graphing inequalities when the inequality has the phrase or equal to. All right. So there you have it, a quick introduction to inequalities of one variable. We'll start the next video, and we'll talk about how to solve some of these inequalities.